Want to get your haircut on the road? Worried about your budget? Want to keep up with your trendy friends? Then call Flora's Follicles on 0800 I'm Not Qualified and get 10% off your first cut using the code Guinea Pig. Okay, so I've got my bib on. Hello and welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. Thank you very much for joining us. After the success of my beard trim on the Outer Hebrides done by Meg, we've decided to up our game a little bit and today we're going to go for a full <laughs> head cut. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. I'd like you to let us know what you think of this haircut. Uh, we're going to call the segment uh, Flora's Follicles, uh, the Van Life Barbers, and I am the barber. I have done it before, and I didn't think the cuts were too bad. So we are currently in Workham. We are working our way towards the north coast of Holland, and on the way here we stopped at uh, the little village of Geerthorn. It's a lovely little village uh, that has no cars. Um, but it's not surprising because there aren't actually any roads. But here's a few short clips of our time there. Geerthorn is a car-free village with boat-filled canals and centuries-old thatched fruit houses. It's known as the Venice of the North. The picturesque bridges, houses and canals provide many great opportunities for photos. It feels like a museum or a film set, built solely for the beautiful aesthetics. It's like stepping back in time. It is free to visit, but we advise arriving early as it gets very busy on footpaths and bridges that aren't designed for mass tourism. Hire a boat or canoe to explore the village from the waterways. So we are in Workham. It is one of the 11 cities in Friesland where we are in the Netherlands. We have spent the week travelling around in free camp spots, just catching up on work and just really just trying to chill out and not rush around too much and try and do a bit of research in what to see in the Netherlands and have a bit of a game plan of making our way over to Germany. So this is our um, camp spot. Um, it is a little motorhome park up with a marina. It's got fantastic facilities and we've done a load of washing and drying for half of the price that we spent on our washing and drying fiasco in Oban, which I was really quite happy about. So as you saw last night, me and Meg had a bit of fun and decided to cut my hair. So now is the big reveal. You have had a hat on it and it was wet this morning. Excuses. So I don't want to know what you think because it isn't my best. I got a bit Clipper happy, you look a little bit like a dinosaur. <laughs> Go on, take it off. A little bit of length on top. <laughs> You're a real funky dude. <laughs> look at that funky dude. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a round two later on. I've noticed, I've, I've seen a little duck's tail at the back. You always have a little duck's tail. I clipped that off the once and you hated me for it. That does look pretty awful because <laughs> it's all stuck up like a turkey cock. Well, uh, I think I'll be wearing the hat for a couple more days. Unfortunately, it's quite warm as well, so not ideal. You're going to look a cool dude on the beach, though. So today, we've got to leave our camps like pretty sharpish. Um, but as Meg's probably said, we've charged everything. We've washed clothes, we've washed ourselves. Did about a week of free stuff, but we didn't feel much because we weren't doing much, to be honest. Um, Very boring. But today, we're going to sort of explore Friesland. Friesland? Friesland. There's 11 cities and they've all got different fountains in, so we're going to go and see a few of those. I yep. talked to the campsite man. I said, what should we do around here? And he was like, um, we'll go here, go there. Have you seen the fountains? Have you seen ours? Uh, like, workums. And he was like, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I was like, I take it you don't <laughs> like it.
driving through Workham you see great examples of Dutch architecture. The small cities, towns and villages we see along the way are all well maintained and you can tell the residents take pride in where they live. It's so nice to see. Never go you take from the Unexpected weather. Red moist. Glad. Some more your little treat. So we are not far from the fountains. I'm quite excited to see them today in the sunshine. Yes, they are <laughs> glorious. They're just by a little, tiny little marina, I think it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so this, I don't think we're gonna collect all 11 of them, uh, but I'm glad we've seen these ones. And we'll show you what they are in just a second. I can see them now. First thing my mum would notice is the little pinkies. We have just done a little bit of shopping. One of our favourite things that we found here are peanut cookies. They are. <laughs> Really, really nice. Yeah. They're big on peanut, peanuts and peanut butter over here, I've noticed. Like, there's like a fair few like brands of peanut butter in the shops, but we're still in Workham and we've just made it to the beach. This will be our first experience of a beach in Europe and the first one in the Netherlands, so we'll I don't it. know what it's going to look like when we go over the brow of the hill. This beach is absolutely perfect for windsurfers, as you can see. We wondered if any beaches will ever live up to those we encountered on the Outer Hebrides. We have been truly spoiled. After a short walk on the beach, we headed back to the van. So the day's getting on a bit, it's nearly three o'clock in the afternoon, so it's about time that we went to find somewhere free to stay. Yes, we are heading over to Dockham. Uh, tomorrow we'll spend the whole day exploring. There's windmills, there's a special coffee that we need to try, um, architecture as per, and just get a feel for the um, city really. Fountain as well, can't forget the fountain. Let's see if it's better than today's. Oh, I one. don't know about that. We drove northeast to a very small village called Heji Vientum. There we would stay for one night before heading to Dokken. Join us next time as we see Dockham from above after climbing a traditional working windmill. Let us know what you think to Dockham. Like, subscribe and comment below. See you in the next one.